family, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Falcons going up against the Patriots. So the time has come. Let's send you out to the stadium and join the two men that will have the Super Bowl call. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, they broke ground on this place in the year 2000, opened it in August of 2002, and it's been the home of this franchise ever since. Welcome to NRG Stadium in Houston. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here between the Atlanta Falcons and the New England Patriots. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis, beyond thrilled to be bringing you the Super Bowl, all the pomp, all the circumstance, all the pageantry, it doesn't get any better than this, partner. I'm loving sharing this booth with you, sharing this moment, this type of a game. For all the teachers who said we'd never make it, we're here. <laughs> and we talk these last couple weeks about the buildup, the anticipation. I think these guys are just ready to get out there and get this thing started. And I know that both coaching staffs have spent considerable time trying to figure out how to best bring their team up to a peak without taking them over the edge and causing a lot of issues early in the game. And you don't think much of a pregame speech is needed for this one. I think the pregame speeches were the shortest all year. If they didn't just say, let's go get them, guys, they probably talk too much. this offense now and Julian Edelman very good player has really developed into a terrific slot receiver and a lot of times he would be the primary receiver now Brady throwing on second down slant route especially respect his passion Brady gonna try and throw on third down and will find his man that's Hogan defensively here are the starters for the Atlanta Falcons and this is a group that has a lot of youth seven of the starters either first or second year guys and boom they're gonna be playing in a Super Bowl and they fit perfectly with head coach Dan Quinn's scheme they'll run again with Blunt cuts it out to the sideline and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown well Garrett Blunt 51 yards and the Pats have taken the early lead you talk about explosion plays, there's one pretty much right out of the gate. And now they get to ride a wave of emotion, momentum, everything. Just as you just as you described, right out of the gate. Big sprint, touchdown. It's like, you know, make it make something like this in the open field. On third down, Devontae in the passing lanes. Third and long, it's Ryan. He's got time in the pocket. Finding Gabriel complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. On first down, Ryan. And it's hauled in by Austin. On first and 10, it's Ryan. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. Ryan now to throw on third down. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Taylor Gabriel from 13 yards out. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown get to the playoffs, haven't been able to get over that proverbial hump. I think they're over that hump. Yeah, I think in this recent run, and this is what I'm talking about maybe since about 2005 or so, they did have one NFC Championship game appearance against San Francisco, but many thought they should have won that one. Now, they're on to the Super Bowl in 2017. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. On first and 10, here's Brady. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a gain of 20 that time. And that's good for a New England first down. 
We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and broad. It's also a game of mismatches. Again, it's Brady. And this is taken in by Mitchell for a Patriot touchdown. Malcolm Mitchell, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second. Brady to throw on second down. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And the Falcons grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Parker, I don't care how long he plays. Anytime there's a fumble involving Tom Brady. You think the Raiders are involved? <laughs> you think the Raiders are involved. You think it's snowing. And immediately you hear the words, tough rule. And now the tough rule doesn't exist anymore, but that always comes back up with Tom Brady, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Even here, even now. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. <laughs> Following the fumble recovery. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Mohamed Sanu there to make the grab. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. But what a quick turnaround there. They get the football. Next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs. If you're over on the bench with your defensive mate and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to get is that Secure the tackle, the next guy in. He's working to strip the ball out, creating takeaways, getting it away from the offense is crucial. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh shut it down. In this case, the offense is able to run successfully. They go play action here on first down. And right side caught Hogan. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 yards. Again, it's Brady. Finding time. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. Right side. Now Brady again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Deion Lewis from four yards out. And the Patriots have moved out in front. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball, because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. On second down, here's Ryan. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything with an extra defender here in the secondary, a nickel look. Ryan surveying the field, and incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up four. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. Here's Matt Bosher now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. This will be picked up inside the 10. Well, there's nothing like taking a lead and making a play that could increase the advantage. That blocked punt and where they picked up the football, that gives them a chance to really take a commanding lead here. Yeah, so you've already got the three, but you know they're thinking touchdown, right? Have to. Know the three is there. Don't do anything to jeopardize it. Brady to throw on second down. That's complete right around the eight. And he had a quick little spin move, but the door shut. They'll go to Blunt, try and pound it in. What a stand so far defensively, and now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost, and that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. They go play action here on first down. He's got time in the pocket. 
great protection. Connects with Sanu right side. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Swings it out to the flat for Freeman. Give him nine on the play. And it'll be second and about a yard to go. On second down, Ryan. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. Touchdown, Falcons! Devontae Freeman, 41 yards. And the Falcons draw a bit closer. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, so this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes, look at your timeouts, make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard, and the time left on the clock, as you noted, so many things to do. They've got the lead by three, late stages of the game. What's the message here? Just hang on to the football, is it that simple? That's exactly right, because ball security is paramount. And you got a small cushion, a field goal can tie you, but you don't even think that way. Just take care of the ball, close out the game. Will they close it out? We're about to find out. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They start on the ground here with Blum. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. Again, here's Blum. And some room to maneuver. Well, the Falcons going to use another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. Now Blunt. Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.